Welcome to To Enable Help for Android. Uh, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to take an assessment. So if we select mathematics again and we go to our grade 10 subject and week 7, you'll notice it will load take an assessment once it's confirmed that it's connected to the internet. So you need to be connected to the internet. You need to have the red dot and when you have the red dot it means you can take the assessment. So this assessment is here to assess your knowledge of the content in this week. And you can take this assessment as many times as you want. It's an informal assessment. And the purpose of this assessment is to help you understand the knowledge that you're supposed to learn in the week, okay, which is laid out in the introduction. So keep taking the assessment until you're confident in yourself that you know um, that you know the content in this in this week. If I select take an assessment, what it does now is it connects me to the internet and it gives you an option to either log in. So if you've got a username and password, then you can use your username and password. And if this is your device, you can just do it once and you can say, remember me, and then you won't have to log in again. It'll always remember who you are. And if you haven't ever logged in before or haven't registered bef logged in before, you'll need to register. So if I select the register, oops, I'm just trying to copy the name. It's going to open up a register box for me, and obviously the things are fairly straightforward. First name, surname, date of birth, country, which is South Africa, it's a drop-down. Correspondence type, you've got two choices here, SMS or email. So if you've got an email address, use email, um, other, because it gives you a better uh, username. But if you haven't got um, email, then use SMS. Okay, so we're going to, in this case, choose email, and you'll obviously have to type your email address. And I don't want to type my email address. But what is I'm really trying to show you is this educational institution. So this is the school that you go to. This is really, really important. If you don't go to school, what you do is you search for none, N-O-N-E. Okay? And if you do go to school, you need to type the name of your school. Okay? So when I click in that box, it opens up a search box for me. So in White River, there's a school, uh, Rob Ferreira. So I can type... Uh, Ferreira in this space. I'm going to go, uh, let's just see if I can open that up again. Not quite sure why it's not giving me the menu. F-E-R-R-E-I-R-M. I'm typing on my computer and I can go search for it. Okay, so then down below here are the various options. So there's Rob Ferreira in White River that I can select. Um, you can see already just typing Ferreira there are six results. If I were to type hi, just the word hi, I probably have 40 results. Well, no, not 40, I probably have 20,000 results. So just be careful what, um, what you actually select in this space. And then obviously the, uh, once you've selected, um, you, you've selected it, you can um, you need to select the, the the school, so I'm going to select Rob Ferreira in White River. There's Rob Ferreira in White River, and the next thing is I type my cell number and I go next. The next page is going to ask me for a password. Okay, so um, this is how you register. I was this around the educational institution. It's important to understand best search for the educational institution. Type the name of your school. Otherwise, you will have 55,000 schools to choose from. Right, um, I'm going to just return you back to the take assessment. I'm going to try and log in as myself, um, hopefully, and let's see if I can do that. So my username is fortunately Mike M. It's very simple. And I'm going to so I'm going to log in. Okay, once you've logged in, it's going to load up this. It tells you at the top here, you are logged in as Mike M, and I have 10 minutes to complete this assessment. If I click Start, it is obviously going to start counting down the 10 minutes, and I'm going to, um, and after 10 minutes, it'll automatically log me out. If I'm not Mike M, I can log out. So if this is a shared device, if this is a device at your school, and you're sharing it with your the person sat next to you, you can log out, you can log that person out by clicking the log out button, and you can log in as yourself. Okay, so be sure that you are actually operating 
in with your own profile. The other thing that's important is don't guess the, the, the uh, answers. Um, we've had in the past people just going onto this and just selecting random answers in the hope that they're eventually going to pass. We do negative marking. So if you so rather don't answer, don't give an answer as opposed to giving knowingly giving an incorrect answer. Because if you give an incorrect answer, we will deduct a mark from you for for each incorrect answer. So what that tends to do is it tends to make you get a very low mark if you if you don't know uh, many of the answers. So it's best to understand what you understand the content before you actually come and take the test. Right. So you can then uh, select start, and then in this space it's going to obviously load up. Um, it's going to load up options, and you select whichever the correct option is. Okay. So there's graphs, and there's a whole variety of options. And you'll notice in the top left hand corner here there's a timer and uh, whatever the results are you can type and if you finish early you know, once you've been through this whole space you can then you can then submit um, you can click there to submit so i'm in a funny space it seems to be wanting to ask me what i should be doing i'm going to just click on that button and um, now it's taking me to it gives me an option do i want to log out because maybe i'm I've just completed the assessment and I'm on a shared device and I can log out so nobody else is going to do a test on my profile. But it's saying congratulations, you have successfully submitted the questionnaire. What will happen after a few minutes possibly is that you will receive an SMS giving you your results. So as you can see there in that assessment, I didn't do very well, I didn't really try very hard. Um, so I wouldn't expect anything other than a zero. But the idea was to really just show you the process of taking an assessment. I'm not trying to show you how to get all the answers right. So that's simply how, how it works and you'll notice in each and every single week there is an assessment and if you take an assessment uh, and you come back and take it again you won't get the same questions. Okay, We, we load uh, many more questions than what we deliver so you get a random selection of questions that you have to face. So. Um, I hope that this has been useful to you in terms of showing you um, how to take an assessment. The important thing obviously to understand is you need to be online. This is not active until it is checked that it is connected to the internet. And when it's connected to the internet, it will then um, allow you to take an assessment. And it's in red because it uses data. So if you're using your SIM card to take this assessment, you are using data. So just to give you a heads up on, on both of those. Um, if you want to actually then take this further, what you can do is you can go onto the Enterprise version, which is available on a, on a laptop and desktop, or what's on a Microsoft and Apple device. Um, and there there's instant messaging where you can actually go and ask your friends for help and you can set up learning circles. Um, but you will need to access that through a um, the Enterprise version through, as I said, a, ideally a Microsoft uh, device, so a Microsoft tablet, a Microsoft laptop desktop um, and there there's a lot more functionality so i hope that has helped you um, and i hope you receive an sms that says congratulations you have passed and and if you don't keep trying until you do all the best thank you